Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Lee, BlueHairArts.com. Now I would like to share with you the process of、uh, making a Chinese name seal. There are several links I will provide for you to、uh, to assist you to choose a Chinese name. First, this part. This is the only part I will need your support help.、Uh, so you go to a website called、uh, MandarinTools.com. I will give you the link、uh, uh, with a program called Get a Chinese Name. On the website tour, you can enter your first name and last name, your birth year, and、uh, some other personal traits like you. You、uh, are intelligent, or you are handsome, or something, something like that. Male and female, of course. So、uh, they will generate different names, options for you.、Uh, then you can、uh, save those that you like, and、uh, I'll help you to choose. Okay. So in this case, we're going to make a Chinese name for Dario Laren.、Um, Is in Israel,、uh, so he has picked、uh, three options that he、uh, is considering. One is、uh, Lin Dian Rui. Second is Lin Dong Rui. And the、uh, third one is Lu Da Rui. So you can see、uh, he, in all his options.、Uh, It has the last character Rui, which corresponding to、uh, the R I E or R E E sound in Chinese is R U I Rui. That means sharp. And the second character varies.、Uh, that Actually, it's the first of the the first name in the Chinese name. Last name comes first. Okay, so、uh, for D O Do or Dong or something like that,、um, you may have Dian. We don't have exactly the same uh, for uh, the English sound. So you, we use similar sound, but、uh, the meaning.、Uh, Thing you need to consider is the meaning. So Dian means、uh, classic, or Dong understood or understanding, or Da means uh, uh, to realize or to achieve to、uh, arrive. So they both read similar to the sound of Dong, Do,、uh, Dian, Dong, Da, all start with Ds, right? But、uh, We choose this one、uh, as a dong, so dong ri. And the first name, I,、uh, I'm sorry, sorry, last name in Chinese comes first.、Um, so from the character L, La Ruan,、uh, we can use.、Uh, Lin, which means、uh, forest, or、uh, Lu. It's just a family name. In Chinese family name, you only have about one hundred options, and the meaning、uh, are not that important as the first name. So it's、uh, just the opposite of、uh, Western names, where you have more family names. A few first names like John or Do, you know,、uh, uh, Daniel, something like that. So you you have more choices with the first name. Almost the whole dictionary、uh, is possible, but you need to consult the Chinese uh, uh, native speaker about uh, which uh, characters because some are more common used in、uh, names, some more.、Uh, For female, some for male. So,、uh, but the website tool is very handy.、Uh, any options are look very authentic to me.、Uh
one. So we choose this one. The second step is uh, my job to uh, design, and I start with uh, um, a research in Chinese sales script etymology. You can go to chineseetymology.org. There's a link uh, you can follow in the video description. Uh, where you input the Chinese characters one by one. So first is uh, Lin, last name, uh, the first uh, character of the first name is the middle, and the last character. Uh, and you can see there are um, not much change with the, uh, this character, Lin, last, last name Lin. First, but uh, with this second character, we have some problem. Uh, the word "understanding" or "understood" is not commonly used in ancient uh, uh, times, so they are not collected in the uh, etymology website. Uh, those available are mainly from the cultural relics like uh, bronze well or stone studies, rubbings, things like that. If not commonly used, it might be missing. Uh, so we have to use uh, parts, you know, radicals uh, to make it up. So I searched the right part, which is happened to be a Ch another Chinese uh, family name. Uh, Dong for the sound, and then we have to pick up a, a radical, the heart radical. This part from a, a, a diff different character. You can use any character with that part to you know, to add it. So I just go to this third character and enter two. Uh, searches. One is with the metal radical, which is sharp, that's what we use for re. And we also have a um, hard radical yue, which I will borrow the parts, this, this uh, heart in the left half, for the uh, design of this completion of this character. So I, I borrowed this left part and uh, um, why I you know also consult consider the different variations on the right side for it, the re the sharp part so I can use these two as reference for this character and also for the second character so that's how I work it's this research can last about an hour or so. Um, to do to be complete, you know, to have all the variations uh, bef before me before I do the design. So when I do design with a mouse, I uh, have uh, all the variations to consider. Then I did three groups. One, two, three groups. Each group has in and um, yang and in positive, negative positive and negative. Some uh, variation are subtle, just uh, a little bit difference on the uh, one of the characters, maybe a little bit uh, carving variation, but uh, uh, another difference is the layout. I use a four character layout on this group three. I added the character in. meaning seal, to make it a uh, um, four character seal. But you can also use three character. Um, the layout is uh, one, two, three. If four character, you can go one, two, three, four. And you can also go up and down. There's a different uh, layout to follow. So we, our client, uh, Dong Ri, right? Dong Ri, uh, he picked uh, this one. So we're going to carve this seal. Uh, 
this is how I uh, do it. So I made the printout exactly as the stone, and then I um, put the print onto the stone and use a liquid called the acetone. It's a nail polish remover liquid. And then I press it or rub it, it will transfer it onto the stone, as if I had printed on the stone. Okay. Now I'm going to do the carving. By the way, if you want to uh, learn in person, I have an opportunity for you. Uh, next month, in, on the 25th of September, we have a workshop, live workshop in LA. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, five days. Day one, I will show you how to carve name seal. So if you come to uh, to the workshop, you have a chance to make a name seal yourself. This is exactly the tool and the stone we're going to use in that workshop. Um, basically, I will do a last name or a single character uh, first name uh, seal for you. Um, design uh, for you and then you do the carving with the same uh, cutting tool I'm using. So the tour will be provided with a, a stone. Last time we did that very successfully. Everybody has uh, the name seal uh, for the rest of the workshop, so you can put uh, your seal on the practice uh, paintings in the rest of the workshops. So day one we'll be doing the Chinese calligraphy also with Victoria. She will show you how to sign your name in Chinese. So be sure to check our website for workshop information. You can see I sometimes use cutting instead of pushing. It's a different uh, style than push it. You can combine two different uh, cutting and the uh, pushing knife movement to create different effects. Cutting, it's like that. And uh, not enough. Repeat. I also have this uh, hard annoy. It's more professional, more expensive than the steel knife. This is very small intricate seal. The sharp knife is only used to do little dots. Details is not easy to use uh, that to cut a line. Uh, so I normally use the flat side of the knife. Okay. Um, X character is the dong. Standing. Okay. It's almost uh, not visible to my eyes. I can cut based on my my feeling. This is the pushing. A long line, you can push it. Uh, 
This is a lot of detail. Very hard. So in the past, when they, I think even today, when the artists are asked to do extremely small, or extremely large seal engraving, they will charge more. I, I haven't got a uh, distinction on my pricing, but uh, maybe in the future I will consider when I, when I do special sized seals. It's not easy with the sharp knife. I'd rather use the flat one, actually. 